It's September at the Alton Towers Resort, Staffordshire. It'll be October by the time this video comes out and it's Oktoberfest. Quite happy to be back to be honest. Really? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, actually I had a smooth journey here for once. I have a good feeling about me. today. Yeah, I know. Um, you've probably heard him, but... <laughs> I'm here with Danielle and the Hello. ultimate Alton Towers fan. Beacon of positivity himself. Especially the October festival. I would like to thank Ben for booking the ride access pass with us all about 10 months in advance so we could actually <laughs> visit the park together. Um, if you know, you know. But yeah, I'm happy to be back at Alton Towers. The sky is blue, it's freezing, but that's fine because okay. it's not raining or anything. Yeah. And yeah, we'll watch some shows later when we're eating possibly no i'm excited to get back up back on the rides and there's some that i still haven't done in 2024 so it'd be nice to actually go on them today wicker man and oblivion so yeah let's see what happens excited to get back on my favorites <laughs> as well tell you what while ben's doing his intro it is october fest of course and there's more on tower street than i thought there would be actually i've done october fest here before but i didn't do it last year um, yeah, I've never seen this um, thing in person before, this shelter, but it's quite suiting to the time of year that this event's on. Yeah, it lets people watch the shows whilst being undercover on that stage there. There's all these steins, some excellent photo opportunities around which I'll probably make use of later on at some point. Don't know how much Oktoberfest this vlog will be, it is more of a ride, sort of update, whatever vlog. Um, you know, get some Scarefest updates, but yeah, um, it's looking really nice on Tower Street, I like it. Uh, full of photo opportunities, full of tables, full of places to get drinks and uh, bratwursts and everything Oktoberfest comes with. It's been going for a couple of years now, Oktoberfest, and they're still adding to it, like there's a game here, like, yeah, well there's loads of games, but I've never seen a, well you chuck like Velcro axes at the board. That's pretty cool. But yeah, they're still adding to it. Last time I did Oktoberfest, these steins were here. Um, this was in 2022, I'm pretty sure. And those photo opportunities there um, were here as well. And obviously some of the shops, but it just feels like there's more than what there was. Um, last time I was here for Oktoberfest and I like the look of it, to be honest. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I rode this. Like, <laughs> we joined the queue in April and it spited as it broke down. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember the last time I rode Wicker Man. I'm really excited to get back on it, to feed the flames. It was close, well, this is my third visit of the year. It broke down the first time when we joined the queue and last time it was closed because of the throwing object. Um, Faff. So, good to get back on. The lift isn't running, that's not a good sign. Feels nice to be back on Wicker Man after a full year. Got the front two rows, these two are on the get front. Get yourself to Ethel. Yeah, oh, he's going to be moaning all day today comparing all the time. Yeah, it's such a bad GCI. I've done yeah. Woden and I've done Joris and It's not my favourite coaster, but I, mean, I did enjoy that ride. I mean, I mean there's worse family coasters, don't get me wrong. He's got a good pacing for a Woody. Like, You've clearly yeah, not ridden another go, GCI. It doesn't job. go slow, does I mean, it? it was... The only other GCI I've ridden is in Port Ventura, the uh, Tomahawk. Is that a GCI? I think so. It's yeah. got the same trains, but smaller and like that's tiny. So so I can't say Wicker Man's better than the other GCI. Well, if you've only done last that, June, that wood is tiny. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I appreciate it for what it is, Wicker Man, though, because I like the theming. It was one of the first coasters, this and Icon, that I actually like followed the construction of um, when I'd just become an enthusiast, sort of like 2017 time. So, yeah, appreciate it for what it is. Curse Alton Man is closed. But we'll check it on the way past anyway, but we're heading to Nemesis Subterra on a five minute um, walk on. Yeah, and we'll might as well give Reborn a go, right? Maybe Galactica as well, and Blade, and everything else in that area. And check out Project Ocean. That turned into a much bigger ramble than what I wanted it to. But yeah, see you in Forbidden Valley. Or Curse. Oh, good timing that. It said it was reopening as we turn the corner and then the actors still have roaming actors in the area around Curse love that they came and we opened it for us they asked me if we were allowed in the manor and they said 
yes, of course, it's reopening. So let's go and see Emily, the rest of the Alton family, in their manor. As it's just reopened. Happy days. And I wonder if the trommel will be on. Oh my god. <laughs> Doing it again because it's walk on. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that ride. Great addition. Um, it was better than what it was last month. Uh, however, the trommel still isn't back on. It's a shame. Like that whole part of the ride is just pointless now when the trommel's not on because, as I've said before, the cars aren't spaced out enough. So you can see that clock in front of you turning. And then obviously the trommel, which is the other half of that illusion, isn't on. Um, so yeah, just that illusion that you're turning um, over just isn't like in the ride at the minute but yeah um, it wasn't perfect it wasn't 2023 level but it was better than it was last month and yeah still absolutely love that ride uh, yeah we're doing it again since we come so yeah literally no one in here I have the manor to myself Excellent two rides on Kirst and I could literally lap that all day, not even joking. Um, yeah, we've just walked through the toilets instead of walking the long way round to check out the Scarefest updates. The Survival Games of Alton Towers, I called it, which is now confirmed to be called Compound. Here it is in its tent, like this is new. Um, construction fences, so we can't peek through anymore. But yeah, like, oh, there's work taking place in here. I still don't have a clue where the entrance to this like maze is going to be will it be up here are they going to like close this entrance off to the toilets and have a little cattle pen down here it's the only thing i can think of really and then like yeah the exit's going to be down here as well like we were just about there wasn't it where there was sort of a pathway leading up um so yeah be interesting to see i believe it's going to be phalanx themed so yeah excited to give it a try if we get down here so yeah that's it Few line it's gonna be there, looks like. Setting up the cattle pen for it, and there, the, the entrance will be there, the exit will be down here. Um, so, yeah, I imagine the entrance is literally, yeah, it, it's gonna be here, the entrance, but at least you're not queuing on this area. From one dark ride to another, we went on Sub Terra on our way over here to Forbidden Valley. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Spoilers, I do love them little drop towers. For such a small drop tower, those drop towers that are in the dungeons and subterra, they're absolutely amazing. But yeah, let's go on subterra for my third and ride on it. Uh, both my rides so far have been on the back, so hopefully I get like a different seat just to differentiate a bit. Time to experience a front row on Nemesis Reborn. Probably my favourite row on the original Nemesis and on Inferno. Stuff like that, I like doing inverts on the front. I'm really excited for this one. Um, there wasn't actually a member of staff at the bottom of like the ramp uh, assigning people, um, but like the front, we would have been on the front anyway if it was assigned seating. Um, so we went to the front air gate, no one else moved down. So yeah, eventually the person checking the bar like assigned the rest of the train uh, from like obviously this area. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's happening now, whether like a side seating is still present or not. Um, it's a shame the front row queue's gone, like it was, it, it, this very building, this very building had a front row queue before Reborn. So I don't know why they've removed it for the sake of some little bits of theming there. Like, I absolutely love this station and it's theming, but I think it would have been just fine without these bits there obstructing where a front row queue could have been. Like we'd still have this bit here. Um, so yeah, it's a big loss that the loss of the Pro queue for Reborn because uh, it is nice to have the option even if the rest of the trains are signed but yeah, I'm excited for this so let's go I'm delighted that my third ride on Nemesis Reborn was on the front row uh, front left, enjoyed it I don't think it was running like super speed or anything um, but yeah I'm glad. Well, like I said, I, I would love it if they could just rebuild that front row during the close season because they have the space for it. Because the original had a front row queue in that same station, so you know, um, it's a bit of a loss. It's nice to have the option, um, but yeah, hopefully, we'll get back on there in a bit. And yeah, over here we have Project Ocean still under construction. There's no crane at the minute, but we have Magna Projects Limited 
building what's rumoured to be a bus top spin is that still the rumour is that rumour still like going around don't have a clue I hope so because I love top spins um, yeah still hard to tell what's sort of coming to be honest straight on to the other B&M in B&M Valley let's give the flying coaster a go Galactica one station presumably two trains does the job it's the new lighting sequence on which I briefly mentioned in April but I don't think I showed it it is. Nice little addition for the 2024 season. Love it. Yikes. The other station opened on Galactica as we were about to get on the train, so that's good. Adding to the capacity. It was on a 60 minute queue, so yeah, like I say, anything to add to the capacity is pretty good. I don't know, like, never really been on here. Is it? Did this used to be like a footer for something? I don't know, I'm just geeking out here, like, what did this thing used to be? And that. Um, don't think this bit's normally open, but it's fenced off over there, so... Yeah, I don't know what this used to be. If anyone knows, I know there's people that know the Alton, the, the Alton Towers Gardens history very well. I would, uh, love to know. Yeah, like, did this used to be anything in particular? It's there, but yeah. That was a really ran random stoppage to the Galactica section of this vlog, but yeah, um, enjoyed it. Then we had a rare ride on the Blade on the way past. Um, yeah, enjoyed the Blade, got some good views of Project Ocean. Like, you know, you can't tell what they're doing there. Um, but I'm sure at some point in the close season, we will find out. We've made it to the theme park, Mad Hill. Not rolled down there in a long time, but I don't know, it's dry, you know, this this grass, but, you know, check out my 2021 vlogs to see that. We will roll down it again at some point. Got the stepping stones down there as well, which look a little better trimmed than what they have been before. Let's get first construction. Does games reload, panic. Let's come back for it, coming back for its second year. Anyway, it's gonna get some dinner now. Me and Danielle have brought our own. Ben's gonna have a nine pound fifty hot dog. And I think we've timed it right to have a show on. Look at Ben walking into the Oktoberfest zone. I would have loved to have seen that in 2020. Looks like there's a show already on. All right, then it's busy around there. Oktoberfest has been successful. <laughs> Do you reckon? We've already made buzz look back this year, so... Well, they have... Well, it has had a long run now, like, what? Is, is this his fifth year? Four? It needs to go after five years, get it gone. It probably will be a five-year thing, yeah. They've been gone before it started, man. Nah, well... If you know, you know he's not a fan of Oktoberfest for whatever reason, but yeah. I don't know, I mean... A lot of people got drinks, like... Makes money at the end of the day. Ben's not joining him. No, he's not. Why? I really enjoyed that show, you know, just the sing-along with dancing, like, great thing to watch while you're having your dinner, just enjoying company with, like, friends and family, yeah, like, family-friendly show, getting everyone involved, singing, dancing, interaction, love it, from Berlin, there we go, we've got a dancing show now, I think. From the same people who were just dancing in the sing along show. So we don't have a Justin Fletcher sound like singing now. Because, uh, yeah, that guy and Eddie was just on the stage. Um, I was thinking in my head, like, that sounds like Justin Fletcher. Like, is it still the CBeebies land uh, celebrations or what? Um, and then Ben said, like, it sounds like Justin Fletcher. I'm like, oh my god, I was like, just thinking that. Yeah, we have actually. I wish it was. 
That's the net. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a dancing show on now, but yeah. Yeah. I'm enjoying this show. Wait, no, this is the one we saw in 2022. Maybe. I don't oh. Yeah, no Darwin the Dodo singing Corn Eye Joe though this year. Is it still singing Yeah. Oh, we'll have to wait and see you then. You enjoying October Fest, Ben? No, yeah. <laughs> this is all oh. the that show has six words. Yeah, I am. Honestly. There's a whole crowd of people enjoying the entertainment as well. I'd just be able to hear it, but we're stood right next to a speaker right now, would you believe it? Walking into X Factor, I was like, oh, it's a bit quiet. We can't hear any of the coasters going round. Can only hear the smiley soundtrack around there. Could hear nothing. And yeah, that's how loud it is. That's not loud enough, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's go on some X-Sector coasters. We're going to do Oblivion first because I still haven't been on it this year. I've not done Oblivion since doing Valkyria at least, Berg. Like, that's unbelievable, that is. And even Ben's done a, another dive coaster recently, like literally a week ago. Akanakanakanan, yeah, yeah. Um, Baron. So, yeah, be nice to do Oblivion. I mean, I would say to compare, but they're not really comparable. Like. It'll be worse. Yeah, Oblivion just does a drop and the others obviously have a layout, but Oblivion was the original, so it makes sense. So, yeah, I just wish that soundtrack was a bit louder. That's crazy. Like I say, you can normally literally hear it from, like, over there. Couldn't hear it at all, so, yeah. There we have it. Let's go on the smile. Did a bit of raining earlier, but back to blue sky now, touch wood. All right, then. Enjoyed Oblivion. I still like the drop. Um, yeah, well, it is obviously over after the drop, but nothing against the ride for that. It was the original dive coaster, and yeah, like I say, I, you know, you could argue that the drop on there, on its own, is better than the drops on these modern dive coasters, like Valkyria that I did last year. Um, but then, obviously, after that, they've managed to expand on that. How many screens? You got four screens are on, guys. It's been a while since I've said this in a vlog. One, two, three, four screens in the Smiler Q line. Um, but yeah, um, you know, obviously, yeah, really like the layout on the Hyper uh, Valkyria. Zero G rolls, side, you know, Sidewinder, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, still appreciate Oblivion. And it's dropped. Uh, but yeah, onto the Smiler. Hopefully, um, yeah, I need to see if I can find a more comfortable way of sitting on this. Um, because yeah, last month I thought I was a bit too tall for it, to be honest. My shoulders are a bit squashed. But yeah, I'll tell you what, these projections, like, they look brighter than normal. So I don't know if they've redone them for this year. Alton Tower Sparkle Project. Fair play. Um, yeah, hopefully it lasts. Four screens. So yeah, looking forward to the Smiler again. Second ride on it of the season. That was the smiler I love on the front row. Um, yeah, are the restraints bigger on the front row than what they are on the back? I don't know because I did back row last month and like I couldn't sit up straight. Like I thought, oh my god, like, I was a bit scared. Am I too tall for the smiler now? Like, am I just not going to be able to get comfortable on the smiler anymore um, because I'm too tall? Because um, yeah, like it's one of my favourite coasters. But yeah, I did it today on the front row, like, I had loads of room between my shoulder and my strain. Uh, and I have a thicker coat on, so, yeah, um, I don't know what the problem was last month. I don't know why, like, my shoulders are so squashed. Um, but yeah, I'll pay more attention to that with future rides and whatever seat I go on on the Smiler. Because, yeah, like, I don't know, there's a big difference. But yeah, enjoyed the ride. It's not rough. Like, it's a debate people have every single year. It's not rough, like even the final frame versions now, which can sometimes be rough, you know, like I genuinely didn't get any jolts or anything um, today, so yeah, and that's on the front row obviously, but back row last month, like I said, like I couldn't sit up straight, but it wasn't rough, so yeah, absolutely love the Smiler, great as always, on to the next ride, I think we're going to do Spinball Wizard, which has a new single rider queue. Or a return single rider queue. Um, I think that's it. Alright then, time for the spinball. It's just 
sat uh, watching the band. Really enjoying the entertainment, actually. So, yeah, we had a bit of time on the uh, Brian Axis Fast Card. It's bearable. So, it's bearable. The entertainment. It's, it's bearable. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, shout out to. I am disappointed in myself for forgetting your first name, but the Marshall family were watching my Hyperion review last night at the time we recording and they like sit and watch me on the telly apparently. I'm on the telly now. Uh, yeah, yeah, watch his Ben ranting as well. So yeah. Um, yeah, I've met you before. You joined me on a ride on Icon a couple of weeks ago. And you've just come over then. Um, in the, I nearly call it in the hub then, but it's not called the hub at all. It's ours. Um, field. <laughs> yeah, the field, the lawn. Um, yeah, the lawn um, where it's entertainment to take place here. Um, really appreciate it. Um, like I say, shout out to you and your family, Marshall family. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Really am. And yeah, always feel free to come over and say hello. It's always nice to see you. But yeah. Let's go on a bit more, is it? We did this last month. Looks like these trees are lit up. Um, or going to be lit up later. Anyway, another thing about the Oktoberfest, it fits our, mine and Danielle's routine perfectly in terms of how we leave Alton Towers. Because um, basically, I, I always say in this vlog, I've said it in every vlog this year, like we try and join like the longest queue we can take ages walking off park, going towers trading, getting the monorail back. Whilst we're doing that, all the traffic's going, we're letting the traffic settle down so we're not sat in the car park for an hour. And we're literally just straight out of the car park by the time we get to our car. And it's worked last month and in April it worked. So um, we was going to do that today. Ben's leaving at six, I think, unfortunately. Um, so we're obviously going to have the park's open until seven, which is really good opening hours. Um, so yeah, we're going to obviously like join like a big queue at 7 o'clock um, or whatever we can. But um, yeah, Ben made me aware that the Oktoberfest, and they said it earlier as well, so like I found out through that as well. And, like, I remember this being the case a couple years ago. Um, so yeah, I've just like been reminded of it. Um, the Oktoberfest show actually stays on until 8pm. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the ride shut at 7, see BB's land shuts at 5 today, that's crazy, they've gone down the Pleasure Beach route of shutting the kids area early uh, before park closed, but yeah, fair enough, like 7 o'clock's a bit late for kids area or whatever, um, but yeah, I'm happy about that, um, so if we are like off our ride, our last ride before 8pm tonight, Go and watch an Oktoberfest uh, until 8 o'clock and then we'll go in towers trading and get the monorail or whatever. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's cool that they keep that entertainment rolling. Um, an hour after party close, it's pretty good that. And yeah, like I say, I'm really enjoying that entertainment so far. So why wouldn't I stay an extra hour, let the traffic settle down and watch it. Single Rider queue is back on Spinball Wizard. There's a lot's changed here. Um, yeah, like this whole bit is new like there's a new exit and, that's still not um, and what that's still not fitting. yeah that's not still fitting. um yeah spinball closed for a couple days um a couple weeks ago um to build this um and yeah great addition and yeah like the ride access pass queue isn't in the exit either blocking the exit so yeah single rider queue lots of people making use of that um, yeah, can't complain, that is spinning now. Um, yeah, like I say, it's brand new. And there's some markings on the floor there for whatever they're doing to the exit soon as well. So yeah, Rap now has its own um, area. And yeah, Fast Track is on the far side of this new bit. Wait, no it's not, is it? No, Fast Track goes all the way around there. Um, yeah, single rider on one side of the new bit and then the brand new exit. So this used to be the exit, Ride Access Pass has always been here and then this used to be the exit and it used to just get in each other's way so it's a good change that. Some really good improvements made by that new exit path and the single rider queue because obviously the single rider queue enhances capacity like it just fills empty seats. Um, the exit, like where the exit is now, it's actually on the side where you get off the train um, as you come into the station, whereas normally, like, well, you used to have to walk, like, obviously across the station, if that was like, so you have to walk less to get out the station and let the other riders get on it, basically, so 
yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, come in a minute, pinball and virus mini posters like this. They can't actually fill the train when, it, when it's raining. And like, it's not enough raining now, unfortunately. Um, it's not now, but it was raining just earlier. They can only have three people, Max. So, uh, yeah, obviously they're back to a group of two and then putting a single rider in on their own on the other side instead of obviously filling like an empty seat for a group of three. Um, it's what it is, but yeah, the single rider queues there when the weather allows it to fill empty seats and actually allow for people. Um, yeah, um, I don't know, just makes it more efficient. Um, that exit bridge, because yeah, you come into the station there and yeah, you're literally straight off, straight down that straight path where it's usually you have to walk and then come down that path there, um, which is also the ride access pass queue as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to tell from here, but I can't really tell, but I believe Octonauts was down uh, a couple of weeks ago as well for some uh, construction of like a station cover. Can't tell from here. Um, but yeah, that's back open now, and it, it is looking pretty fresh. Like, what was it for? A station cover? It's I don't know what it is. It, it well, it looks so, doesn't look covered from here. Um, but yeah, something. Yeah, um, yeah. There's still some scaffolding up on the transfer track and maintenance area. But yeah, impressed with Spinball and the new systems that have been added. And I absolutely love the ride. Best spinning coaster in country, I think. Well, we're not walking right past it at this moment in time. You can hear it from here. The musical bush playing Oktoberfest music. Get some talent. Loud and proud. Autumn, they said. Well, it's the 28th of September at the time of recording and it's freezing. I made the last minute decision to put my fit coat on today. And it was a very good decision. I would have been shivering if I'd have put my thinner one on. Hex. The main's closed. Um, do you know what? My prediction now, I think they're going to open it on the first day of Scarefest. Like, any time now, possibly before this vlog comes out, they're going to announce it on a random Wednesday morning at 7am. And Pex is coming back on the first day of Scarefest. I'm that will be livid. Yeah, because he doesn't like Pex, but I miss it. But I've not done it since the Christmas event in 2022. To be fair, I have done a worse um, madhouse than it now. Yeah, F Tillin was it? Villa Volta, that, that thing was awful. Interesting. That's the yeah. world's first one though, so I wanted to do it just to get, like say I'd done the world's first madhouse. Yeah. Like eight madhouses in general. Is that the world's first? I didn't even know that. But yeah, I, I think you'll come back for Scarefest. Before Scarefest, maybe not, but I don't know. It's autumn well, it's now, only so... it's got a week until... How many weeks is True. it Scarefest? Two, it might, maybe two. two. Well, one and a half of it oh, starts midweek. Yeah. I think it starts midweek. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, nah. It could literally open any any time now. An announcement could come any time now. Um, and yeah, like I'm looking forward to seeing the changes because, like, say something has visibly changed. Like, yeah, there must be something in that room now where the queue used to be. Because um, yeah, like. That's not the main queue anymore, this is the main queue, and that's the fast track queue, so It'll be interesting. Well. And here's Skyride, I believe work was actually taking place on this during the week, and I can see the ladder from here. We will come back open in day 2025, now I'm sure. We'll have a little look. Yeah, here we go, here's your Skyride update. Um, yeah, wonder if they'll start testing it in like a Christmas event, I don't know. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing the return of this. It's kind of needed for accessibility. Halton Towers, as I've mentioned before, it's a big place. Um, yeah, it's just a nice ride to do. Well, this has shot up since we last filmed here. Like, there's a full tent up now. It's not being used. The tent is up. What is it not? No. <laughs> What's it? What, why is it there then? Because basically. What Josh, actually is it? Basically, Josh, this is how much of a laughing stock scare fest is, right? This was meant to be a scare fest maze for this year but they didn't finish it in time so they're bringing back the attic instead. Unbelievable. Wait, so they've put that tent up and realised that they've oh, yeah, not they finished the maze? Yeah, they thought they were going to be able to do another version of survival games. What, like? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they thought of. I'm no. really confused. Um, this yeah. is where the tent is so, up jokes from on Twitter. Like, people yeah. were... No, people were filming about... this, claiming that the one near Curse was up, but actually they were just you, tricking people with this one because some didn't know that like this was here. So this was 
So this was up this before, was up the, before the one, one that they're actually one. using? Yeah. I'm so confused. Like, so why, why, where's the other one there? The darkest steps then that used to be here? Like, that, just that, keep that, that there. If they've not finished the replacement, I don't know. Well, it's not interesting. Amazing. I'll have to look into that one. Let me know if you are aware, more knowledgeable. That's, I'm, I'm more in touch with Tabs than he is. Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't know whether to believe that, I'm not going to lie. No, it is. <laughs> Did they actually what, build a tent yeah. and then realise, oh, we can't put anything in here this year because we've not finished the design for it? Yeah. What on earth, right? Let's go in the dark forest. We did Rita. Um, yeah, Rita. Enjoyed it. I don't find it rough anymore like it used to be sometimes but genuinely like I've not had a rough ride on Rita for years now. Um, yeah, I was gonna do 13 but obviously like had a big wrap time out and it turned out that then only had one ride, like enough time to do one more ride. So you only see Nemesis Reborn instead of 13, the world's steepest brake run. So we might get on it later 13, who knows, because we have an hour of ride time left, but Ben's leaving a little bit early. But yeah, have you had a good day, sir? It's um, Oktoberfest. Considering it's a Towers day, I've actually had a good day. Yeah, I know, for, I know, I you like know, a Towers hater time. Yeah, well, that's the joke me and Danielle will be making. Right. Need to check his temperature. Yeah, you, you're feeling well. <laughs> Are you feeling well though, yeah? Still the perfect part. Yeah. I've had a good time, but yeah, I don't know what other rides we're going to do. Because um, yeah, the crowds are filtering out um, slowly, I can just see from here as well. So yeah, and then we might stay till as late as 8pm, um, obviously, to watch whatever the October first has to watch, yeah, the after party, so yeah. We'll see, you, we'll see you around. Another coaster with a single rider queue. I don't think they ever actually removed the smilers. Like, Spinball and some of the other coasters at Alton Towers, they've, they used to have single rider queues. They've got rid of them, but they've slowly started to add them back. The smiler has always had its single rider queue, I'm pretty sure, apart from maybe COVID sort of times. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make use of it right now. I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah, it's just one of them things like if you want to save time and you don't mind being split up, the queue doesn't look too bad to be honest. But yeah, jump in the single rider queue and get your ride on it, fill an empty seat for them. Does you and the park a favour? Finally spotted a smiler resin and seen it in person and include it in this uh, in a video. Because yeah, the other two times I've been here this season have been sold out. They look really cool. At twenty pounds, so accurate. Yeah, that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> um, so, the thing is, with these single rider queues, now, I think uh, too many people have got the same idea of, oh, I'll just save a bit of time. I'll just go in a single rider queue. It'll be like half the time of the main queue. Um, we'll just not get to ride together. <laughs> single rider queue. Um, I didn't time it myself. I think it was about half an hour. Uh, because some guy in front of us was saying like we've waited the same time as it says on the app and it definitely felt like it, it was 30 minutes on the app and it felt 30 minutes um, so yeah not ideal um, but it is what it is um, so we didn't get like a final ride like we planned on doing but the plan was actually to go and get a semi-night ride on Nemesis Reborn that didn't happen did it um, but it didn't matter in the end anyway because Danielle got a ride on the Smiler, the ride broke down. Um, so she's on the brake run for all this time and I'm just about to get on the ride. We actually stepped into the train and then got told to go back in the uh, loading area. So fair enough. Um, and then yeah, that was about a 15, 20 minute delay. Um, so yeah, Danielle stuck on the ride. Danielle then gets off the ride. Um, they actually evacuated one of the trains, but not the train that Danielle was on, so that's a bit weird. They evacuated the train that was like in the station, but behind the one that's already in the loading and offload and offload. And that makes sense, but they didn't evacuate the ones on the brake room. And then, yeah, they sent like a lot of test trains around. Um, Danielle's obviously waiting off ride at this point. Um, and yeah, like, I finally get my ride, row two. 
semi night ride. Um, it's letting the traffic go down. We've missed the Oktoberfest show because of this. We only have half an hour of Oktoberfest now. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Can't be out. I feel sorry for the staff in a way because obviously that delay happening like bang on park close, it literally went down at seven o'clock around, give or take. Um, so yeah, like that's delayed them obviously finishing for the day. And yeah, like they smashed it. This patch is a good, they're working hard on their credit to all the smiling staff. Uh, and all the staff in general today because the operations have been very good. We haven't actually experienced much downtime. Oh god. That was going quick then. Um, but yeah, it was smooth. It's nice to have a semi-night ride on the side. Um, so yeah, we'll go and check out some of the Oktoberfest stuff now. Get some of it in the vlog because why not? Then I'll outro over there. Um, cause yeah, don't want to end the vlog and then end up filming loads of stuff in like on the lawn. Uh, and then you've got towers trading as well, which we might go in and we might not. We'll see. So, see you in a bit. Here we go. And then I said a couple of hours ago that these trees are billet up, and they are. And here we are at the lawn. The Oktoberfest show is on. Oh, look at the lighting and light. Oh, this event space. Plenty of people staying for it, which is good to see. Fair play, like, rides are short, entertainment still keeps going. Fantastic atmosphere around here. Yeah. Better than sitting in the car park, isn't it? Last song. A bit, a bit of a medley, actually. Amazing October first show live by the way. I decided, you know what? Why not do a live stream? Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone who joined that. Like, yeah, what a tweet on a Saturday night. Just, you know, I give no notice. So yeah, that's a shout out to everyone who was on that live stream. So you go. Oh, everyone's dancing. Well, not in a minute because the music slowed down. But yeah, typical. Here we go. <laughs> All right then, quickly. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, the entertainment, I love how they've kept it going. Um, an extra hour after ride close. And Ben, if you have watched to the end, enjoyed seeing you today, mate. But they've just confirmed that Oktoberfest is coming back they next said, year. They said see you next year. Have it. So, Oktoberfest, we'll see you again next year for this uh, entertainment. It might be a last year next year. One hour after the Right, ride it's close um so yeah yeah it might be it's last year but it doesn't matter because that would end the five year run to be fair um but yeah you know what it's been a good day um downtime we haven't really seen much of it apart from that on, at the end on the smiler um and yeah like operations good enjoyed a lot of the entertainment wicker man is still going um and i don't really know what else to say um we haven't been in towers trading if it's still open i doubt it we'll have a quick walk through it why not and show you the merch as we always do um but yeah until um, next time from alton towers hopefully we're back from scarefest it's time to walk back to our car hopefully the car park is quiet and all that but yeah thank you very much for watching i will see you next time from alton towers and oktoberfest goodbye